What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Erica, from the Classy Climb blog, coming to you today talking about where can you run off to in three days? <laughs> now, let me preface this. Okay, again, Peter put Nomad Capitalist book all over the front cover of this video. Now, uh, Robert Kiyosaki was talking at the Nomad Capitalist conference, and he said, what is somewhere you can get in three days if something, you know, tragic happens? Now, I'm going to go here and be careful. The Africans... The Indians, the Asians in Ukraine who are upset because basically they're the police force, the military would not let them on the buses or trains. They would basically let only Ukrainians on. And this is unfortunate. This is sad. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of black people are like, well, see, I'm taking back my support of Ukraine. And I think we've lost the mindset mindset of, hey, these people are immigrants in that country. Uh, if they already told the men, don't be picking up and leaving 18 to 60, in my mind, why they ain't out there picking up guns, right? Now you're going to say, where could some of these are students? Not all these people are students. There were a lot of folks out there with whole families, children, all that stuff, families. They were not all students. And this, again, goes back to my mind. You heard the rumblings of this stuff happening. Where can you go in three days? Why were you not at your embassy? Well, their embassy is in that country. Okay, well, your country's not even strong enough to have an embassy in Ukraine and you're there. You're on your own, <laughs> right? And this is something people don't want to hear. And so the reason I'm, I'm harking back to Nomad Capitalists is the whole identity of, uh, and let me, let, me, let me come at this a nicer way. 80% of all people are average. If that, maybe 90 almost. But 80% of people in America, most places are average, regular and I'm talking about in mind, body, heart. I know people always try to say, no, I'm super fit and I'm muscular. And I'm... No, dude, you're average. You're some dude making 30K a year. So you got four or five hours every night to spend at the gym and watching TV. You're average. You're average. Just, just, just admit it. So average means low information diet. Put that on TV, Peter. Low information diet. Right? Low activity engagement. Okay? So... We sit here and people want to pull on the heartstrings of like, oh my God, they're stuck, they're trapped. They're sh Somebody get them out of there. When Common Sense says, you know, this has been rumbling for weeks. This has been on the news for a while. But when you have a low information diet and you're average, you're just getting up every day kind of in zombie mode. Just showing up to work, doing what you do. Now, back to Robert Kiyosaki, rich dad, poor dad, put his picture up there, Peter. And he talked to the conference, he said, what, where can I go in three days? Where can I escape to? Because not all countries are going to be stable or be safe, right? But he's speaking to a top 20% of America. He's speaking to people who are actual planners, doers, creators, builders. And that's rare, y'all. I know y'all think I'm being a, a jerk, but I was just at the conference. And a better way conference, great conference, crowd of like 300 people. Lady gets on stage and says, how many of y'all posted about your business today? It was like nobody. It was like 10 people out of 300 at a business and in, in real estate and e-commerce conference. Okay. And some of those people, they were wholesalers. So then they, another, another couple comes up. Uh, I forgot their name, the, the Hans or whatever. And she goes, anybody you don't want to post every day? A bunch of hands in the crowd go up. Yeah. And my friend, there's somebody came on after it that said, you know what? A lot of y'all work harder on a shortcut than how hard the actual work would be. Y'all out here day and night searching for a shortcut when the actual work is just the work. As hard as you put work in your business and your job, that might be how hard you have to work in a relationship. Shocking, right? How hard you have to work on your job is how hard you might have to work on your fitness. See, a lot of people out here running around 23 to 27 years old talking about how fit they are. And then I say, talk to me in 10 more years when you're in your 30s with a family and a, and a, and a, and a very busy career. They're not as loud then because they know life requires their attention. It requires their focus. It requires their energy. So what does this have to do with being able to pick up and go in three days? Telling people at a nomad conference, which is a better conference, or is a very smart conference, high level performers there. That they need to be wrecked out and pick up in three days is only going to be heard by a select 10% of the society that are going to move their assets around, invest in getting multiple passports, 
And the reason why people say, well, why would a person do all that unless they're a drug dealer or they're doing something scammy? Nah, man, I literally know a guy who's a great business owner. I'm not trying to discuss his business. He literally got stuck at the airport because he was back on um, child support. Now, let me let me set this up because y'all know I am about child support. Some of the laws are unfair. A lot of stuff is unfair. Well, long story short, young lady, um, you know, the baby test came back. This kid's at like six years old. It was a, a, a hookup summer. And so guess what? The court awarded her arrears, right? She was able to say, oh, I haven't seen this man in forever. And and he ran off and, and this baby is six now, which I'll call him baby, but this baby's six now and I need all this help. So this man's got this, this court order slapped on him to pay all these arrears. So he's getting ready to fly out of town. And they say, hey, man, you got four, I think it was like, no, it was $6,000. It was something small. I mean, originally the bill was 10K and he put something on it, but he still had $6,000 left. $6,000 and back child support. And we just grabbed your passport. You can't leave. You got to make a phone call to her, get that bill paid. He had to take a two day break from his new wife, new family, okay? Go to the hotel, call, pay this child support bill. The lawyer had to call. They ran around making paperwork, getting, you know, stuff notarized, make sure it got up. And Instead of leaving on Monday, I think they left on a Friday. I mean, they worked that thing pretty fast. But imagine that. You've got a vacation plan with your family, your mother, your, your wife, your kid you got with that wife. And because you didn't take care of something, the government just decided, or, or not necessarily not take care of it, but we're not notified enough. They're like, hey, yeah, we're going to snatch your passport. Think about that. They didn't snatch his driver's license. They put a hold on the passport. OK, uh, when you're a felon in this country, guess what? Passport. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. Again, one of the best things Wall Street Trapper talked about was when he was going to jail for the second time. They took his truck, they took his cash, they took all the little stuff they could grab. He talked about the fact that he had stocks and they didn't grab those. So when he came out, he still had money. All right. But that comes from constant investment and discipline in a repeated process. Most people are on a low information diet. Most people are doing very average stuff every day. Get up, go eat, eat, sleep, Netflix, what's on TV. For the select 20% that are hearing what I'm saying, in order to even be there, you'd already have to be on a higher level, what? One, income. Two, mindset. Three, planning. So I'm not mad at the people in Ukraine. I'm not mad at the black people in Ukraine. I'm not mad at the white people in Ukraine. The, most people in Ukraine woke up Friday and was like, oh, crap. Oh, nay, this is really happening. They done blew up the airport. They, y'all, they blew up the airport. And most people were what? On the road. You saw the videos of countless cars all over the road. Peter, put it here. People are on low information diets. And so if you just take a few extra steps, right? If you're a person that's got something going on about your life. If you're a person that makes any kind of significant money, having a defense mechanism is smart. What cracks me up on the internet when we know majority of people, 80%, like I said, are average as hell, talking about, I need to trust. And when you ask them, do you have $75,000 to put in that trust today? Oh, no. Do you have a house that's paid off you want to put in the trust today? No, no. Then what the hell are you talking about, man? You're just using internet jargon. A lot. Look, y'all, I'm lying. Come on, y'all, on this internet, am I telling a lie here? And there's over 60 types of trust. I think 57, actually. Um, but, so don't, you know, don't don't look like I just quoted you on everything. But, but the fact is that most people are average. And they're looking for average solutions, and they want to have average complaints. That's why, again, I say that relationships and dating and mating conversations are so easy for people to be on the internet for eight, nine, ten hours hangouts. Because it's opinions. They don't have to have any real results in life. When it comes to money, when it comes to passports, getting additional passports, buying properties overseas, you have to have money. You have to have results. When it comes to uh, buying properties, you have to have results. You have to have some money. Okay? Uh, and so what happens is people want me to be up in arms about what's going on to these these African folks in Ukraine, and I'm just not about it. 
because most of them are on a low information diet. They came there to make money in that country, and then they don't think about, okay, where are we going to go? If something goes sideways in this country, what are we going to do? Supposed to be in survival mode. Right? I saw um, a couple with like a, a I think it was like a three month old baby outside. It was like two degrees or something crazy there. And and I said, now, why would you take your wife with this baby and go try to walk to the border? That, that don't even make good sense, right? So some of the stuff I'm hearing and seeing is it, it, it already shows you that these people are one average, two, not paying attention. And three, like that country has no obligation to take care of uh, of folks. Same thing here in the United States. They, they've already went to court for Michigan and teachers don't even have to teach your child how to read. It's not their job. The Supreme Court already told you it's not their job. How many times do people have to tell you that's not my job? If you on a low information diet, you're not teaching your children, you're not tutoring your children after school. That's not my problem. But we don't want to hear that. That's too harsh, right? I'm being too harsh right now, right? So again, Nomad Capitalist, I'll be at that conference this year. Uh, but something for you to think about. Where can you go in the next three days if something break out in America? A lot of you going to go be home. I'm just going to keep it a buck. A lot of y'all going to be home. So so let's make your home the best place you can be. Right? I'm going to tell you right now. I uh, had gotten to a little uh, a little issue. And the guy came. Well, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. I said, let me tell you what, what you're not going to do. I'm a business owner. You can go talk to my attorney. And you can go talk to my accountants. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, let's, yeah, just get that paperwork over to me. Whole different conversation, whole different level of, con- of talking, conversation, attitude, a- attitude adjustment changed in just that moment. Why? Because real business ownership is rare, y'all. It's only about 10, 10, 10 of our society. And let, let's put it really into context. One in 10 Asians, one in 30, 34 whites own a business, one in 54 Hispanics and one in eight blacks. sometimes one in 20, depending on the study you look at. So most people are stuck, what, working a job somewhere, two, at the whim of that job, and three, aren't really serious. I'm not saying everybody got to start a business. I'm not saying that at all. Let me me be very clear. I'm not saying you got to start a business. What I am telling you is, as I go out here, you see this stuff, the the contractor lifestyle. I put that book out long ago, 1099 lifestyle was going to be a thing. I told folks, right, I got to finish the book, letter income too, but letter income part two. But I'm telling y'all, a lot of what you're seeing out here is the result of, okay, uh, you you know, first they see if you're a business owner. You're not? Okay, cool. Then they second, they see if you own a home. You, you're not? Okay. Then they see if you own some assets. You don't? Okay, they don't care. They already realize you're not even on the game. You're not even in the board. You, you're not playing the game, so they don't got to care. I know that's so offensive to some of y'all, but this is really the truth. It's it, Where can you go in three days? people say well i could i could run to the mountains i could do this okay and and this is not to be a doom and gloom video (laughs) by no means but you saw what happened when we just had a a toilet tissue shortage in this country i'm not saying be uh paranoid about america what's going on in america that's not what this channel is for i just want you to be thinking so you take a minute and really think about it where could you go in the next three days if you had to go what could you do Right. We saw those tornadoes happen in Kentucky and people were like, oh, crap. Like, I don't have nothing. I don't have nowhere to go. I'm just going to stay here with a tent. Like there's literally people at their houses with tents where the house done blew away and they're just cleaning up the yard every day. Because they got nowhere to go. And they got nowhere to get there. No cash to get there even in that case. So I just want y'all to take take that into consideration. Um, When you hear a lot of the conversation you hear on the Internet, when you see people tripping, there's a reason I only go to conferences as much as I do and masterminds is because it's so rare to meet people who are actually trying to do something, trying to build something, trying to grow. Uh, the average person is going to attack you and they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, the average person is going to say, well, you should do this, this, and this. They don't know the hours in your day. They don't see your life. Uh, and so you have to kind of take a lot of it with a grain of salt because most folks are average, doing way average stuff, right? They just are. Right. The, the criteria sometimes people have is so low. They're like, why can't you find a person? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? And then you ask them their criteria. Their criteria is basically is that person breathing and got teeth. We are not the same. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? We aren't the same. 
So anyways, you guys, this is your girl Erica from the Classic Clown Blog. Uh, don't ask me again what I think about what the what the Ukrainian folks should do or what the Africans should do there. If you're there, you better pick up a gun and fight, and you better you better stand your ground because uh they ain't let you go nowhere. Some of them got across, but not a lot of them. Anyways, you guys, this is your girl Erica. Have a great day. Do you want to learn how to buy tax liens for less than a thousand dollars and get that immediate ROI return on your money? Come on over, hop into the free training. Listen, my name is Erica Williams author of the Classy Climb blog. I'm a six-figure YouTuber. Got two million in portfolio that I manage. But listen, I'm gonna show you how you can get in to tax liens. Sometimes for 400 bucks, 500 bucks, a thousand dollars. Several of my students have immediately turned around and sold their properties, sold their vacant lots, and gotten their money 10X return. Look, don't take my word on it. Come on over, hop into the free training. No cost to you, show you students, testimonials. Listen, I want you to get ahead this year, whether you work with me or not. But a lot of you are asking, how can I build my real estate portfolio? How can I make more money? How can I grow? But I only got a little bit of dough. Hey, let's get, let's get cracking. Let's work together. Hop into the free training and let me show you. This is your girl Erica. Later.